Hello guys and welcome to my channel. I am Mariana and here I'm going to speak not only about art but also about the art market. All support is welcome so please don't forget to like, subscribe and click the notification button. This way you will be notified when a new video pops up. So, for today's video I'm going to talk about the basic rules of collecting art. To me, collect art is another art form where the balance between aesthetic appreciation and market investment should meet. Therefore, this equilibrium point is not easy to find. In order to collect that art properly, factors as budget, expenses, market change, hidden costs and education should always be taken in attention. Collect art doesn't need to be a nightmare, but if you aren't well informed about it, you will probably have more headaches than pleasure. So, I prepared for you a essential guide with all that you need to know about how to collect art even if you know nothing about it. Choose your style. Fashion and art have actually many 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 things in common. I'm sure that you have your own style, something that characterizes you, right? Well, the same applies to art. If you are getting interested in this field, do your research and decide what style and movement you prefer. From abstract expressionism to minimalism or from master, old masters to contemporary art, there are endless styles, periods and movements out there. Consistency is the key. Take my advice and pick one style and movement for start. It will help you to focus, save time in your research and achieve a uh, better and more consistent portfolio. Research, 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 research. Do you go to galleries openings or artist studio visits? Do you know the emerging artists in the market or even the old reputed at once? Well, the art industry is a business like any other. Do your research and get out there. In any case, you can always get an art advisor if you are serious about art investment. It will save you time and money in the long term without a deep understanding of how to value art. It's actually very difficult to make a profit. Calculate your budget. What is your budget? That's actually one of the main points that you might have in consideration before getting an art piece. If you have a big budget, the best advice would be to purchase an artist who is already established and represented by a non-gallery or by a big auction house. If your budget is low to medium, connect with local galleries and artists and pick a few to invest in the long term. Trust me, with your help one of them can increase or is reputation in ways never expected and give you a better return in the long run. Educate yourself. According to the Swiss bank UBS, passion is the main driver behind art investment rather than profit. Don't underestimate the knowledge and experience needed to successfully buy and sell art for a profit. Educate yourself consistently in order to develop your taste and knowledge. Try online courses in the field from Coursera, Udemy, Sotheby's or Christie's. They are as good as more conventional ones with the bonus that you can manage your time in order to study. The hidden costs. Framing, storage, shipping, insurance and auctions premiums can quickly turn an art investment into a billing nightmare. You can avoid some by purchasing pieces from local artists. Also invest in developing relationships with galleries in your area that have a better network and business relationships. Also, be aware about shipping. Shipping can be a big bill nightmare. And usually new collectors don't think about it. The price of an art piece usually doesn't include shipping, leave alone insurance. Sometimes shipping can be even more expensive than the artwork itself. As I spoke on my previous video, shipping art requires a lot of paperwork and organization. If you want to know more about, just 
go check my previous episode you have everything that you need to know about shipping there also be aware about tax but selling tax use tax resale tax income tax capital gain tax you name it there are endless taxes out there to everything if you are starting right now be aware that art is no exception to tax you will have to prepare yourself to it my advice if you want to take art collecting seriously get a good art advisor and accountant to help you with this be aware of the changing attitudes more than ever online shopping is booming and the art business is no different there are countless apps and websites out there where you can do great online purchases auction houses the sotheby's christie's and phillips strongly invested in online sales sometimes the best deals are actually where we less expect also have a look at our website shop.marianacustody.com we have a great selection of new emerging and established artists that we believed in and we develop relationships already don't get overexcited about auction results art investment isn't all about number and projections it's important to track an artist market beyond the few high prices just because a certain artwork was sold for an insane number doesn't mean that will open soon or even again remember the untitled art piece of basquiat sold at sotheby's auction in 2017 for 85 million us dollars well that was a one off price it didn't happen again after network i'm sure that you want to get the best deals out there but for that you will need to spend a lot of time connecting with people in the industry visit museums art fairs galleries and auctions not to buy but to educate yourself look and understand which pieces you like in order to define a strategy strategy and network are the key not all art is an investment have this in mind not all your purchases will give you the same return don't misunderstand the market you really should diversify your portfolio by period artist medium region etc in the long run will help you to mitigate the risk whether you're looking to enter the contemporary art investment market or you already have a grown collection send us a message we are here to help and guide you to achieve the best returns in the market conclusion for this video as i usually do in the end one art collecting is time consuming and requires a full commitment two not all art is for investment three networking in this business is one of the most important factors four there are endless hidden costs fifth if you have a medium to high amount of money to collect get professional to help you and sixth if you are starting be careful with auction houses well guys i hope you enjoyed the episode of today and if you have any question and if you have a team about art or art market that would like us for the next video please just leave a comment below and again don't forget to subscribe see you soon